Hi guys, my name's Catherine Keyes and I'm here today at Collier Primary School in Como. Uh, this place is significant to me because I moved here a couple of years ago. I live just around the corner from this primary school. Uh, it's also located near the South Perth foreshore and the Como foreshore. So I'd like to start this vlog off by uh, acknowledging the Noongar people as the traditional custodians of the land where I am today in the city of South Perth. And I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. So I'm here today at at the primary school to show you this beautiful mural that the teachers and the students have collectively made together. So South Perth has been home to the Wujak Noongar people for over 45,000 years. The rivers continue to be sources of spiritual, cultural and economic and familial connection for the Aboriginal people. The Swan and Canning Rivers and their tributaries also hold great significance to the Noongar people as being created and sacred to the Rainbow Serpent or Waggle, a dreamtime spirit taking form of a giant snake. And you can see this giant snake here on the mural. It is believed that the South Perth area was the country of the Bilu Noongars or river, river people. The Noongar people who lived in this area were known as Garin and their place was called Garinup. An important camping and fishing area was situated between the present day Richardson Park and Point, Mill Point and this area was referred to as Borulup or the place of magic people. This area, however, has since been covered by the Kanana Freeway. It is recorded by Bates in 1992 that Noongar people would, would camp in the South Perth area when beer or banksias were flowering and extract honey from the blossom. I'd now like to show you this smaller mural down here. <clears throat> this was created by the teachers and students and as you can read here, this mural was created a permanent it was created as a permanent learning tool for the children of Collier Primary. It outlines the six Aboriginal seasons and it says this piece recognises the Aboriginal people as the original owners of the land and it contains all the fingerprints and handprints of the teachers and students and the mural takes up the entire wall which helps <clears throat> it helps the students feel more included at the school and just a, uh, in general, an inclusive environment for everyone.